Hello, today I am going to go over a shoe or a couple pairs of shoes that I've reviewed in the past by a company called Birchberry. And the reason why I'm doing that is there's been an update to their shoes and I feel that it's a good improvement and wanted to go ahead and share that with you. So it's been a few years since I reviewed the Birchberry shoes. If you wanna check out those reviews, I'll post them in the top right now as well as link them in the description below. So it had been a few years that I had been using the shoes, very happy with them. They are minimalist shoes, zero drop heel, wide toe box, and very comfortable and look a lot better than many of the minimalist shoes that are available on the market today. I was online and I came across a Birchberry ad for their sneaker styled shoe and a few new colors, including a color white. So I went to the site, took a look, knew that the shoe was good to go, liked the color, and decided to order them. During my conversation with Birchberry, they explained to me that uh, over the years, they had various people in the restaurant industry, from employees to management to restaurant owners, ask if it was possible for Birchberry to include a slip resistant sole in their shoes. And what Birchberry did is they went ahead and on the black models, so the black color on the Bramfords and the black on the Brenstons, are now upgraded soles that include the slip resistant feature. And uh, that definitely caught my ear. I had been in the restaurant business for a while. Slip resistant shoes were a must, even for insurance purposes. And the shoes that we were required to wear weren't very comfortable. And on top of it all, they were ugly. Yes, they were slip resistant, but that was about the only good feature that I could remember from those shoes. After a couple more emails back and forth, with Birchberry. I had explained to them the experience, basically what I just told you now about the non-slip shoes that I was required to wear when I was in the restaurant industry. Birchberry then asked me if I was interested in testing out the effectiveness of their new slip resistant soles and I agreed. They sent me a pair of Brenston's and also sent me a pair of the Bramford's which is their dress shoe model. And as usual, just like with all the products, that I get to review, I was eager to put them through the test. What I ended up doing to test the shoes is I got shoes that I would see many people and many kitchen crews wear that weren't slip resistant and decided to put those up against the Birchberry in my test. Got some sesame oil and smeared it all over the plastic and went ahead just with my hands and really just trying to see what type of traction or slip resistant features I would feel without even putting the shoes on. The movements that happen the most on the line and even just in and out of the kitchen and into the dining areas were pivot and turn type movements basically moving in a transverse plane wanted to definitely mimic that within my tests and right from the beginning right from the get-go i noticed a considerable amount of resistance with the birchberry shoes as opposed to the other shoes that were very popular but not slip resistant. So as you could tell, just from that initial basic test, there wasn't even a comparison. Uh, Birchberry, their soles gripped a lot more, gave me a lot more stability as well as traction. I then decided to put on the shoes and give them a test. Once again, I used the sesame oil, I had a pull-up bar overhead, was able to hang on to that. As I went ahead and did my movements, pivots, turns and once again without a doubt completely different experience between the popular regular shoes and the birchberry non-slip soles once again it wasn't even close with the regular shoes i just didn't feel any traction didn't feel any stability of course i'm walking on oil that's kind of expected but when i did put the birchberry shoes on not only were they super simple to put on, of course, and to get off because of their lacing system. I was a fan of these Birchberry shoes before, but now with these new soles, slip resistant, I became an even bigger fan. So whether I'm on a trail, walking on rocks, moss, uh, whether I'm in a store or an office environment that has a wet floor, of course, having a slip resistant sole is a great feature to have. So once again, keep in mind, I do go over much more detail about the specifics of each shoe in my other reviews that I did previously. So be sure to check those out if you do want more information and more specifics on these Birchberry shoes. I even uh, had a buddy of mine that happened to be here as I received the shoes in the mail 
And I was just explaining to him about it. He said, oh, those actually look good. And he is a mechanic. He's always walking around oil and other slippery fluids that are, are either leaking from the car or leaking from bottles you know, in the auto shop. And he asked me to give him a call after I reviewed these shoes to tell him what I thought about them. So bottom line, if you're in the market for a super comfortable, good looking, slip resistant shoe, super easy to take on and off with a wide toe box, zero drop heel, adding to the comfort, especially if you're on your feet all day. Definitely take a look at the Birchberry shoes.